All right. Um, in the uh, next cell we did, we had uh, ZN, was it? No, we didn't use ZN. We used a different supplier of electrons. What did we use to supply the electrons? The platinum? Yeah. The platinum wasn't supplying the electrons. Yeah. Iron what? Um, iron 2 plus. And so iron 2 plus was supplying the electrons. And so iron 2 plus gets converted into what? Into iron 3 plus. Now, the situation here is this. We want to separate the iron 2 plus. This is the reactant, this is the product in the anode. So. But the thing is, the iron 2 and the iron 3 are both in the same phase. They're both AQ. And so if they're in the same phase, we separate it with a comma rather than a vertical line. And so the iron two goes to iron three. Where do the electrons go? The electrons go over to the, to the cathode. But before getting to the cathode, how do they get from the solution into the wire? The platinum. And so the platinum is going to take the electrons and so we'll have a phase. The platinum is going to be solid. Going to phase change there. And the platinum will take it over to the other platinum. To the other platinum. And so we have a choice. We could write the other platinum here, like this. And um, there's going to be phase. And what's consuming them? In this case, we use permanganate and H. Plus. But the permanganate went to manganese 2 plus. And so here uh, we have our cathode and we have our anode. Uh huh? Yeah, so um, permanganate, it's, it's still like this, and so it's manganese. So, right? I'm sorry? Uh, permanganate uh -huh. is the same phase as manganese, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. So this can't be a line. Because both of these are AQ, that means this must be a comma. Correct. Thanks for catching that. So now it's good. All right, the next cell we did was the, um, with the SHE, remember that? But to do it properly, we did zinc solid. Actually, let's do it improperly first. The first time we set up that SHE, we, did, we had the SHE here and on the left. And so the hydrogen goes to H plus. Should we have a vertical line here or a comma? A vertical line because hydrogen is a gas. H plus is AQ. And then should we have a double line here or a single line? We have to have a single line here because, well, how does the hydrogen feed the electrons into the circuit? It feeds it through platinum. And now a double line, so this is our anode. And then our cathode was Zn2 plus goes to Zn. Where Zn is our other electrode. In fact, uh, up here we might, you know, we, we could put the electrode at the end, or the electrode at the beginning. There's a convention, but uh, we don't worry. So I'm not going to worry too much. And so this would be our cathode. But the cell potential for this came out negative 0.763 volts, which means Uh, yeah, we have it hooked up wrong. This is backwards. And so we need to reverse this. And so reversing this, um, we would have done... Why do you have the platinum solid going to zinc 2 plus? It's not. This is double bar. Double bar means salt bridge the next cell. And so really, uh, the reaction is Zn solid goes to Zn 2 plus, double bar, and then we have... We'll write the electrode at the end. 
hydrogen ions going to hydrogen gas and platinum. Solid. Now this isn't balanced here uh, because, uh, like, we need we're supposed to have two H pluses, right? We're supposed to have two H pluses, but um, it doesn't re doesn't really matter because under standard conditions, what is the molarity? One. It's one molar, and just because it reacts in a two to one ratio, uh, it doesn't. Those coefficients are just used to calculate the limiting reagent, right? And so uh, we don't worry about that. And so here we have it. Now this is written correctly. The cell potential for this is going to be plus, under standard conditions, plus 0 0.763 volts. And so this is correct. This is incorrect. You know, we, we have this as the anode, but no, it's wrong. You know, the actual anode is this. This is the cathode. And we saw that it's wrong based on the negative voltage. Meaning the electrons are flowing the other way. But oxidation always occurs at the anode. We always generate the elect electrons at the anode. All right, so what are we doing today um, in the lab? And so we'll actually, we're going to do this. Let me just take a minute to, to explain. Well, the first thing is we're going to build this cell. The cell we're going to build is Zn solid, goes to Zn2+. plus. But this Zn2+, plus is not going to be under standard conditions. This Zn2+, plus is going to be 0.1 molar. Why 0.1 molar? The reason it's 0.1 molar is, is that's what we have in the back. We have 0.1 molar zinc, 2+. plus. Actually, that's what you used last time. And uh, this is going to go to copper 2 plus, but the copper 2 plus is going to be 0.1 molar here. And this is going to go to copper solid. And so now we're, we're dealing with non-standard conditions. And so how, how, how do we deal with non-standard conditions? So we know delta G uh, under non-standard conditions is equal to delta G under standard conditions plus RT ln of Q. Let's see, I still have some more to talk about since I'm a little bit behind. Do you want a break now and then uh, we'll talk after the break? Yeah, let's do that. We'll take a break. I was going to try to wrap it up, but it'll take me at least 15 minutes.